hello everyone this is dr dhiman and in this video we will see about the range of length we have to see the various length that are used for measurement of the various size of the objects that are available in the universe and these sizes of these objects vary over a wide range okay approximately the range is of, of the order of 10 to the power minus 15 to 10 to the power 16 okay this 10 to the power minus 15 this is the diameter of proton okay we know about proton neutron electron okay these are the particles that are inside an atom okay and this 10 to the power 16 this is the distance to the boundary of the observable universe both these two are in meter scale okay so this 10 to the power 16 this is the distance to which we can observe up to this much of distance we can observe the universe now we will see various units that are used in the measurement okay so the first unit is fermi okay so fermi was a great scientist who discovered or who measured the radius of the nucleus which was of the order of 10 to the power minus 15 meter one fermi or we can write it to be one femtometer f small f small m one femtometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter okay this is the size of the nucleus now we have another unit we have already discussed in our previous lectures about the angstrom unit so we have already seen that so this one was the first unit suppose the second unit is suppose angstrom or we can represent it as one angstrom this is the symbol okay one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter this angstrom unit is used to measure the wavelength of light okay and this angstrom this name came from the scientist name anders jonas angstrom okay so this is the name of the scientist or physicist who measured the 10 to the power minus 10 of a meter next we have suppose one nanometer suppose the third scale is one nanometer small n small m okay this is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter okay this unit is used to measure the wavelengths of light we express the optical wavelength suppose in case of communication window we have 1550 nanometer this is the zero loss window zero loss communication window in case of optical communication okay we will see in the optics part so one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter now we will see some other units so the fourth type of unit is this is astronomical unit one astronomical unit it is represented in short form as one capital a capital u this is the average distance of the sun from the earth the orbit of the earth around the sun is elliptical in nature so the average distance of the sun from the earth is one astronomical unit and this is equal to 1.49 into 10 to the power 11 meter okay this much of distance now we have another unit suppose the fifth unit is one light year in short form small l small y okay one light year is written like this so this is equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meter okay this is a measurement of distance so in case of distance the light traveled in one year is equal to the one light year that is with the speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this is the speed of light and with the speed of light the distance traveled by the light in one complete year is called as the one light year so this is equal to if we want to break this into parts so we can write it as in 365 days that is 365 and in one day we have 24 hour in one hour we have 60 minute and and in one minute we have 60 second okay and this we have to multiply with 3 into 10 to the power 8 okay this is meter per second so here we'll have this much of meter and this is equal to 
this one value okay let me show you one table from your book okay this is the table number 2.3 this is the table for range of the order of lengths okay so first of all we have the size of the proton size of the proton is 10 to the power minus 15 meter next we have size of the atomic nucleus this is atomic nucleus size is 10 to the power minus 14 meter size of hydrogen atom this is 10 to the power minus 10 meter this is nothing but one angstrom next we have length of typical virus then we have some other measurements in this table you can go through this in your book number book and table number 2.3 you will get the explanation also now we will see one another unit that is called as the parsec unit so this is the sixth type one parsec so what is one parsec so how much value this one parsec has it is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 16 meter okay this much of distance so this is the highest or this is the longest unit now what is the definition how we can find out this much of value we have already seen that the one astronomical unit is equal to it is the average distance of the sun from the earth suppose here we have this is the suppose sun at the center and through an elliptical orbit earth is revolving around the sun suppose this is the suppose average distance of this earth at this point we have suppose suppose this is the average distance so from here up to here this much of distance this is the one astronomical unit we have assumed this is the average distance one astronomical unit and here we have this is the Art. now what we will do we will draw a perpendicular at this point and if we want to draw a line to this art from the this point and if this angle is equal to one second then this distance okay from here up to here so this distance is called as the one parsec okay here we can write one parsec so this distance is the one parsec so how we can measure this distance parsec means this is found with two word par and sec this pair word this come from parallax parallax is the method to measure the very long distance and this sec this comes from the one second of the degree one second is equal to how much one second is equal to one by 60 into 60 this much of degree okay 1 by 30 600 part of a degree is called as the one second so this is a very small degree okay that means this distance is very large distance okay and this distance is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 16 meter okay so this distance is called as a one parsec so this is nothing but one parsec that is the definition of one parsec is it is the distance at which average radius of the earth's orbit subtends an angle of one arc second okay in this video we have learned about various range of lengths Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.